Dr. Brown. Hi. What can be put in place to continue to change Bermuda's culture towards alcohol? Thank you. Well, um, as a Seventh-day Adventist church, uh, alcohol and, and tobacco and other, other such uh, drugs as we refer to them are harmful uh, to our young people and to even our adults. And uh, I've really thought of a little acronym for wine. Uh, and for me, the W stands for war, that we must have a war against um, alcohol. Uh, we can't softly, softly this war, uh, but we must, if we're going to declare war, we've got to bring in all the troops from the churches, from the uh, government, from all sides. We've got to have the air, marsh, air, air troops and the ground troops and the Navy ships and all of us come on board and declare that this is unacceptable to our culture here in Bermuda. It causes road deaths, it causes personal death, it causes death or destruction of family life. Uh, we must declare, I believe, war, total war on alcohol. Then the I for me stands for intolerance. We must have a zero tolerance for alcohol in our homes, in our communities and declare that this will not be a part of our Bermudian culture. The N stands for never, which is a synonym for intolerance. <laughs> uh, that uh, again, we must say no uh, to the influx, influx of, of this drug. Um, it, it, because it is uh, legal uh, in Bermuda, uh, does not make it therefore uh, non-addictive. And uh, it being addictive, again, it causes distress uh, both personal and communal. Uh, here in my own office, I have a secretary whose son was uh, almost killed a year ago by a woman who was a good woman, but she was affected and under the influence, and now she's actually incarcerated. The Bible says, wine is a mock, a strong drink is raging. Whoever is deceived thereby is not wise, in Proverbs 20, uh, 20 and verse 1. So she was a good woman but she was deceived, so never is the, is the fourth thing. And the last thing for me is um, example, uh, that uh, as parents, as adults, uh, we ought to have a good example of, um, some would say, uh, responsible drinking, uh, but uh, I question as to whether we are able or have the faculties to limit ourselves, even the best of us, and so believing that um, we are not strong enough or wise enough to make that decision for us in the Seventh Day Adventist Church, we've just simply said um, no, and that the uh, children can see our example. And we believe there are nice substitutes out there, uh, nice wines, much more so now than in the older days, lovely drinks at the Adventist Book Center. We have some nice wines, uh, but um, we say no uh, to uh, alcohol and um, we try to live by example. So we don't want to force the world to uh, do what we do, but by the grace of God, we're trying to change and um, strengthen Bermudian culture uh, one person at a time.